A new study suggests the universe may not expand forever. Physicists found evidence that dark energy might not be constant, implying cosmic expansion could slow, stop, and reverse. Their model predicts that collapse begins in about 20 billion years, ending in a big crunch, roughly 33.3 billion years after the Big Bang. Future observatories may soon test this theory. The study challenges the standard cosmological model by proposing that dark energy isn't a permanent feature of space. Instead, it may behave more like a field that changes over time. To explain this, the researchers suggest the existence of an ultralight axion, a hypothetical particle long theorized in physics. In their model, this axion forms a slowly evolving field that changes the overall energy density of space. Over billions of years, the push from dark energy weakens. Alongside the axion, the team adds a negative cosmological constant. Normally, we think of the cosmological constant as a positive value driving expansion. A negative one would exert a contracting influence, countering expansion. Together, these elements create a cosmic balancing act. For now, expansion continues. But over time, as the axion field evolves and the negative constant asserts itself, this balance tips, expansion slows, halts, and eventually reverses. The model forecasts that the universe will continue expanding for about 7 more billion years, reaching a peak size around 69% larger than today. After that, contraction sets in. The process begins slowly, then accelerates, culminating in a big crunch, a collapse of all matter, space, and energy back into a single point, around 33.3 billion years after the beginning of the universe. This timeline is based on a specific configuration of dark energy behavior. The authors aren't claiming certainty. The scenario depends on whether dark energy is truly evolving and whether the universe contains a small negative energy density, which has not yet been directly observed. Still, it's a significant departure from the standard picture. It revives an older concept, the big crunch but grounds it in a new theoretical structure supported by recent data. What makes this model compelling is its link to observational data, especially from the Dark Energy Survey, DES, and the Dark Energy Spectroscopic Instrument, DESI. These surveys map the large-scale structure of the universe and track how galaxies move over cosmic time. From these datasets, researchers extracted the equation of state parameter for dark energy, symbolized as W. The value of W equals minus one matches a static cosmological constant. But if W is greater than minus one, even slightly, it suggests that dark energy could be weakening. The DES and DESI findings don't prove this, but they raise the possibility. And the model described in the paper takes that possibility seriously, building a scenario around it. What sets this work apart is its testable prediction. Instead of offering a vague vision of distant cosmic decay, it gives a specific timeline. Expansion halts in seven billion years, collapse begins thereafter, and the universe ends in a crunch 20 billion years later. It also brings in a negative cosmological constant, an idea present in some versions of string theory and quantum gravity, but rarely discussed in mainstream cosmology. When combined with a dynamical axion field, the result is a mathematically consistent scenario that fits the current, albeit limited, observational data. That said, the model is still speculative. There's no direct evidence for axions, nor has a negative cosmological constant been observed. And while the equation of state hints at evolving dark energy, the statistical confidence is not yet strong enough to make it conclusive. The authors don't claim this is the universe's fate, only a possibility if dark energy evolves and the cosmos allows it. The key is testability. Future observations will refine our understanding. If data supports W as great minus one, the collapse scenario gains traction. If not, it weakens.
The dominant view today is the Big Freeze. Expansion continues forever. Galaxies move farther apart. Stars burn out. And the universe fades into darkness. But if dark energy isn't stable, that future changes entirely. Instead of cooling into stillness, the universe could collapse in heat and compression. That revives the concept of a cyclic universe, where expansion leads to contraction, which may lead to another Big Bang. It's a concept that was once popular, but fell out of favor after the discovery of accelerating expansion. This model doesn't claim that cycles are guaranteed, only that collapse is again a possibility, based on the physics of evolving dark energy and a negative cosmological constant. If correct, it would have implications not just for cosmology, but for high energy physics, quantum field theory, and the nature of space-time itself. One key value of this research is that it frames a future that can be studied through observation. We don't have to wait 20 billion years to learn if it's true. Upcoming missions, like ESA's Euclid Telescope and the Vera Rubin Observatory, will collect far more detailed data on dark energy galaxy evolution, and cosmic structure. Euclid is already operational and mapping the geometry of the universe with unprecedented precision. The Rubin Observatory, with its Legacy Survey of Space and Time, LSST, will track changes in the sky night by night. These tools will help refine the value of W and reveal whether dark energy is truly evolving or holding steady. If dark energy stays constant, the standard model holds. But if it shifts, the Big Crunch theory gains support. There's no immediate threat. This is billions of years away. But it matters now as we refine our understanding of the universe's fate. The Big Crunch is now a serious, testable model based on real data, not just theory. We can't yet say if this is how the universe ends, but future observations may confirm or rule it out. The real milestone is this. We're turning cosmic fate from speculation into science. <laughs>